What's up guys welcome back to yet another tutorial. In today's video I'm gonna show you how to use ESP now in your IoT projects in case you need a secure communication between your ESP8266. So without further ado let's get started. ESP Now is a wireless communication protocol developed by Espericeive and capable of packet transmission. This protocol enables multiple devices to easily communicate with each other and transfer information optimally between each other. This protocol is similar to the 2.4 GHz wireless connection, often used in the wireless mouse. Therefore, it is necessary to pair the devices before communicating. This means that the connection is stable after the devices are paired with each other. In other words, if one of your ESP suddenly shut down or resets, the connection is established automatically when you restart. For this project, I made a custom PCB using Altium Designer. This video is not sponsored, but I suggest you to at least try it one time. It's really great software for PCB designing. So let's get back to our project. In this schematic, I use ESP8266 power regulator LM7805, relay, SMD resistor and capacitor, and a few pin header for connecting DHT11 and serial communication. Of course, there is a problem with my relay circuit because I was lazy and uh, make it really simple. Anyway, well now we have our PCB done. Let's take a look at the code. In this project, we use two different code, one for master node and another one will be uploaded in the slave nodes. In this code, which is the code for our slave node, we should enter the MAC address of our master node. For my slave node, I set up a DHT11 and after that I use the DHT11 data on my ESP now structure data. If you have any problem, with setting up your ESP now project, I wrote a detailed tutorial blog about it. Check the link in the description down below. In the code for my master node, I should define board's ID to manage data which is receiving by the master node. Don't forget that you should use different ID for each slave node. Also in my master node, I set up OLED display with I2C interface. If you're using ESP8266-01 version, you need to set your I2C pin in your void setup as I did. As you know, ESP now has few different scenario for transmit and receive data. Let me explain about the scenario I used in my project. In this project, I used a scenario called many to one. That means an ESP collects the data and information from other ESPs. For example, you're supposed to have several ESPs installed in your home with temperature sensor. In this environment, an ESP as the main node or master node collect the sensor information from the slave node. One of the ability that I really like from ESP now is callback function. This ability simply protect the connection between your node if something goes wrong. And after the node which got problem come back online, there is no need for any physical action thanks to callback function, it will join your network by itself. And at the last for programming my ESP8266, I use USB to TTL. There are too many options in case you want to use them in your projects too. Well, that's it for today's tutorial. I hope you like it. I hope it's be useful for you. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and like this video. It really helped me and support me to keep making video. Thank you guys and see you next time.